All right, Monday, March 25th. Today we reinstalled underlayment. So we got some in the entryway here. We're not done, but we got quite a bit done. And the front office, we got this all filled in, hallway, that little tiny closet. Underlayment in the bedroom. I'm going to step out back through here. Now what we didn't get done was uh, this little section of hallway, the master bedroom, and I'll tell you why. I was way off on my calculations. I ordered 32 sheets or about a dozen shorts, so ordered more. But here is the big change. We got almost all of the living room done for underlayment. And it's nice to just have it all one, one surface. Got one little corner left to do. Sharon's still working with paint colors, but we're getting close on that. And uh, Mick will be back tomorrow. And he's got some odds and ends if we can get materials he'll keep working on underlayment but the door is going in so this this temporary door that we've had in there will come out and this full view door will go in its place so now we get a feel for what that looks like and we started the morning by working on soffits so we get the fascia up all along this side there's still more to do but uh, it's starting to look kind of closed in now. So that's it. Mick will be back tomorrow. I probably won't be back until the weekend. But we'll check in with you then. It's Saturday, March 30th. We're back for the day. Mick gave me an assignment to finish screwing down the underlayment that he placed on Tuesday. And Sharon is setting up a temporary kitchen and paint lab in the office. And she's going to work her way through and try to get the color right so that we can buy our paint. Other than that, not much to do today. Probably spend some time visiting with the neighbors. We're here in the paint research labs of Sharon Kyle. She's mixing countless colors together to come up with the unobtainable white. Yes. We'll see how that goes. She's been at it for six years now. And we're nearing the breakthrough. Oh, I tell you. Moving on now to underlayment. It's time to put in two inch screws and lots of them. I'm using something called a quick drive system. I just call it the back saver and you're going to see why here in just a second. The screws are in a magazine and they just load directly into the quick drive and then you just let it rip. Now it's a lot easier to do the master bedroom because what we're trying to do as we drive these two inch screws in is to go through the plywood and down into a joist. Unlike the rest of the house though, the master bedroom is trusses. So instead of an inch and a half wide joist that I have to line up and try to hit, I've got a three and a half inch wide target because of these trusses. So I can move along really fast. And unlike most of the videos that I show where I'm working, I didn't speed this up. I'm running this at regular speed. to the kitchen. We use cement backer board for the kitchen because we'll be tiling over this. I use a quick drive to screw these to the floor joists in the kitchen, uh, but I have to screw all the edges and for that I'm using a drill. So back to what I would call the back breaker this time. So I'm going around and hitting each and every one of these panels uh, with screws to make sure that each of them is secured. Well, that's about it for now. Next, we'll take a look a little bit closer at paint colors and hopefully we can get some paint on hand and start painting the walls 
we'd like to do that before we put flooring down or do any work with trim around the windows makes it a lot easier uh, beyond that uh, get to get some tile ordered um, take a look at flooring for downstairs we're pretty close to choosing that we already know what we want for flooring upstairs uh, beyond that, got to chat with Mick and see what uh, what he has on the plan because he's pretty much driving everything. So the next video you see, we will be throwing ourselves full into this project.